<laughs> We're about to destroy our life. Yo, my dude. That ain't cool. Mm, so its speed is gonna raise a lot. So I guess we're now it's being fucking shit here. Wow. Level 24. Well, all right. Wow, these are like really back to back totem Pokemon. We were just facing that other motherfucker. And they do not get less intimidating. I'm gonna say that much. You see that motherfucker like creep up on us? Like, dude. That's OD. That is OD. Cannot fight that. That is OD. Too much for me, man. Too much to, for me. And we got a cast form coming to us? What the hell is going on here? Why is there a cast form here? That doesn't even make sense. I don't even know what the hell is going on. This, this is just weird, man. This is just weird. Can't lie about that. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Let's get this out of here. Oh no. Stop it. Do not even. D don't stop it. Wow. Wow. Ugh. Why? Why, and that didn't even do it. Mm, why didn't that do as much? Why didn't that do as much? There's no reason why. Mm. Not making me happy here, man. Not making me happy. Are you going to do that again? Don't do that again, man. Do not do that again. Solar Blade. Solar Blade? What the hell is Solar Blade? I've never heard of Solar Blade. Oh, Power Herb made it go first. Uh, I've never heard of that move, but that looks powerful. That almost looks like a Z move. Did you see that shit? Holy fuck. Yikes, man. Yikes. Okay, um, we're gonna go Torracat. Torracat's powerful, man. Maybe we could take it out with the Fire Fang right from this point in its health. I think we might be able to do it. Maybe we'll even outspeed it. I doubt it, but hey, you never know, man. You never know. God diggity damn. Oh, man. Bastard. Why are you doing this? Please, Fire Fang, come through right now. Sunny day. Yo, 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 that's perfect. I need that right now. I need that. That's going to help me because my fire type moves are going to, like, kill it. But shit, now that solar whatever move is going to, like, destroy my life. But yo, if I could get one of these in right now, we could kill it. If we can, we can kill it. Synthesis, okay, okay, why are you doing this to me? Come on now, this should help me man, this should really help me. Yo, the sunny day is coming through. I don't know if Game Freak did that on purpose, but yo. Mm, that is helpful as hell man. Alright, we're going another one man, hopefully we can take this thing out, hopefully it doesn't go for another stupid synthesis man, hopefully it doesn't. Why are you wasting so much of my time right now? I really want to know that. You know, at that point, a crit could kill it right now. That is closer than close right now, guys. That is closer than close. And you know what? He keeps on knocking us down little by little with the X, the, 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 blah, blah. The headbutt. Keeps on knocking us down little by little. All right, let's go... We need to stop doing that really badly. We might be able to take it out at this point, though, to be honest. It's going to be close, guys. This is going to be close right here. We might be able to do it, though. Boom! Just like that. That thing just wouldn't stop. Synthesis, 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 synthesis. Whew. It was close, man. But no. We weren't taking no more of that. We were not taking no more of that. Okay, so we're going to... I mean... Fire Fang? I forget. Oh, does that become a fire type? Uh, okay, yeah. Lame. Alright, headbutt might kill us here, actually. Uh, it comes close. Oh, perfect! That ended up working out kind of nice now. Okay. Good deal. That actually has been my general strategy of going through these totem Pokemon. Take out the totem Pokemon first, and then take out the ally Pokemon, because the ally Pokemon... You, you can... You can... You could take out the ally Pokemon, but they can always call them back, like, right away. So, that's a thing. That is a thing. Swagger? Nah, man, I'm not... I don't, I don't like that move. Oh, man, yo. These totem Pokemon are a challenge. You know, you wouldn't think if they're, like, a wild Pokemon, like, whatever. These things are a challenge. Like, they really kind of... Spin you on your head, not gonna lie. 
Wow, Josh, you're strong, huh? You were really able to draw out the flavor of your Pokemon. Yeah, that's that's the way you want to put it, the flavor of your Pokemon. Sure. The Totem Pokemon bowed right down to you. No, 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 that thing fucking preyed on me, was like about to stare me down, fucking touch me in places that I don't want to be touched, and like, that's not cool. Like, that thing was about to like, really... I'm, I'm gonna stop talking. Yes, even back at Willow Volcano Park, my vaunted Salazzle. Salazzle, that's a cool name to be honest, not gonna lie. Salazzle didn't stand a chance. Nor did the wishy-washy that, that I trained so carefully. Yeah, wishy-washy, that thing was a fucking bitch. Alright, you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. Wow, damn. You even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. Ooh, that's the grass thingy. Right? Well, either way, yeah, that is some type of a grass Z move. And with that, another trial complete. Look at that. Boom. Trial complete. That's awesome. That is awesome right there. Hot damn. These have not been easy trials, I tell you. We lost one of them. Let me show you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, I see you. I see you, man. I like that. Hmm. Some nest balls. Very, very nice. Okay. Kind of want to run around here and catch catch one of those. Looks like Lorantis didn't finish all of its food. I really want you guys to try some. Do I really want some of that, man? That's That seems some <laughs> lick. <laughs> Alright. The flavor from the rare bone seems to fill my whole mouth. Yeah, that rare bone, man. Mm. Alright. I don't want to talk about the same one. It's, it's so spicy! Woo, they got wrecked. They got wrecked. Uh, are you headed off for to Olivia's for the grand trial? I guess that we are. I guess that we are. Cool. Shit, yo, Professor, what's up? Woo, what's that smell? Uh, that sweet smell I smell drifting my way. Could it be a tasty Mallow special? I heard you cleared Mallow's trial. Yeah, all right then. I have a present for you. That little TM right there is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. That's cool. I like I like moves that never miss, like you know, Swift. Uh, uh, um, I forget the other ones, but that, that's one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. There will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge, the Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. I was there for like half a second. Right? Wasn't I there for like half a second? Hey there, Josh. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala Island's trials. Congrats! Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia is a, an expert user of Rock-type Pokemon. You're going to want to catch some Grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready to gr uh, for the Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's past, down past Route 6, but just ask Rome if you need some help. Alright, very nice. I think I'm going to... What am I going to do? I am going to... Catch them grass types. Uh, I'm going to see what's here. I'm going to see if there's anything that I like. And... You know, yeah. That's uh, that's that pretty much. I'm going to... Are the nest balls... Are those for, are those for just bug types? I, I thought they were just for bug types. I don't know why she gave them to me. But maybe they are for... Grass types as well... Well, the net balls. The nest balls, nest balls, net balls, whatever. She just gave them to us, right? Net. No, it was nest. Yeah, why she gave us nest balls? That just is better for the lower the level. I don't know. Alright, let's, uh. I'm just gonna do a quick run here. Just to see what's available. See if there's anything that will catch my eye. I'm not really gonna be too aggressive unless I see something that I really like. And we have Trumbeak. I mean, obviously, we already have that, so who cares? But, you know, yeah. Hmm. Couldn't get away. Bruh. Okay, I was a crab. I was gonna say, what the hell is going on? Couldn't get away. Dude, really? Really? Yo. A Raquinid. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Come on. Okay. You know, okay, I'm just going to try one more time. I'm not really feeling that. I, I, honestly, I want to go more for a grass, uh, more for an electric type than a grass type, if I'm being honest with myself here. Uh, another Trumbeak. Eh. 
I'm not really feeling... I'm not really feeling grass right now. I don't know. I probably should have switched. I don't know why I didn't. I'm kind of just being stupid. Uh... I kind of just want to try one more just so I, like, can see something... Something else. Why is this not... Come on, man. Uh, that's so annoying. Usually, like, the second try, you can run away. Not the fifth or fourth or whatever that was. It's okay, though. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch here. There we go. I just wanna try one more. I wanna see some grass type here. Why is it just full of drum beaks? Ah! I don't want drum beaks. Comfy, you know what? <laughs> I would have been interested, but I know from the leaks, I know for a fact, that is a single evolution Pokemon, and that is not something that I'm interested in. Not, not feeling it, not feeling it. I'm tempted, guys. I'm, I'm gaining my temptation back. Trying again. <laughs> Trying my luck. A Bonsly, that is misleading as fuck. Who doesn't love a little misleading Bonsly, right? Alright, I swear, guys, I will have this last attempt here. We'll see if we're going to get some badass, cool grass type. I usually don't end up use, using grass types. If I'm being honest with myself, I just don't. I usually end up with one. But, yeah. Okay, that's frustrating. Sorry, guys, for, for spending my time here. Probably shouldn't have, but... Yeah, we're going to... We're going to head out to the Dimensional Research Laboratorium. Laboratorium. Alright. Where am I going? Like, all the way down there. Wow. How did we... We haven't even, like, visited these other areas. Like... Route 9. Like, why haven't we gone to any of these other areas? The story hasn't taken us there. That's the thing, like... Nothing we could do, you know? If they don't call us there, it's like... We're not really supposed to be there, you know? So yeah, we will fly over to there. And I guess we'll just take on that Grand Trial, though. You know what I'm saying, man? Take on that Grand Trial, though! Very nice. Very nice. And then I think, finally then, I will call it a recording session. And this one long recording session, I have done two trials, and it's going to be a third with the Grand Trial. So yeah, we're going to heal up, actually. We need to heal up for this. <laughs> and we will... I want to take a look at my trainer passport right now, just see uh, how far we are along with the the grand trials or just all the trials together, you know? Because we're, we're making some good progress. I'm curious when the story's going to start to develop more, because I've heard good things about the story, but, like, we haven't really seen much. I mean, we saw, like, glimpses of the story here and there, but, like, nothing very intense where you're on, like, a mission for, like, the story. So, yeah, I'll check out the passport here, and you can see... Where can you see that? Hmm. That's where I saw it. I saw on the save menu, actually. It shows it. Yeah, there you can see on the bomb screen there, the, uh, the Grand Trials. So, or Grand Trials. What am I saying? I'm losing my fucking marbles, guys. Just all our trials. Just trials in general. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Go, Nebby! Something that I skipped on accident. I am curious more about Nebby, man. <laughs> I was acting just like I was Josh. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. Uh, I think she was telling it to, uh, like, use a move or something. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers or thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see Josh and Hal, it's like they've always opened some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Yo! Oh, excuse me. Oh! Um, oh, Josh, hello. It's, I feel like it's been a while since we last met. Yeah, I know, it's been great. The, there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. How, how were your trials? It must have been quite trying to do three in a row. No problem, man. No problem at all. You already know it's no problem. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Akala's Island's trials? I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so content... Content? A content creator? Content and understood by Torakat there, I mean... So yeah, I'm curious 
th this dimensional research lab, is this going to be looking at, like, fourth gen storyline? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's very cool, though. Very interested in that. You're going to the dimensional research lab, aren't you? Anyone can tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. So I guess we can just... Head on up. What are we doing? There we go. Very nice. So we were here a little while ago, and they wouldn't let us go up, so... Yeah, that's a shame. But uh, now we are here, so... So, cool beans. Hey there, honey! Oh, hi! Who the hell is she? <laughs> this uh, this here is Professor Burnett. She runs the uh, Dimensional Research Lab, and she's also my wife. Wow, they do not... I don't know, they don't look like a couple that they'd be together. I don't know. That's just me. Now you're a judge. You're a judge, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Well, thank you. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. That's the name of it, Cosmog. I feel like I've heard that in this game already, but yeah. Hmm, no how today. Now he's out doing his own thing, but he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Hal before him. You really think so? Whoa. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Kaku and I both had the same reaction. We're like, whoa, holy shit, where the hell did you come from? Uh, well, yeah, I do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, uh, I brought Josh here because I wanted to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. Here we go, digging into the story. I like it. I'd be happy to. The, myster the mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. Holy crap. That's dramatic. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. Like, is this Russian world? Maybe not. Okay. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. Oh, shit. Like, oh, 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 Ultra Beast. Ah. <laughs> okay. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the wormhole, the Ultra Wormhole, went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. So that's like the Tapu Koko, I guess, those, those type of Pokemon, the Tapu Pokemon. But like I said, it's all legends and folktales. It's hard to to know how much is true. But I would uh, I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several uh, known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Cool. Well, damn. Bronzong, it brought rains by opening portals to another world. It was revered as a bringer of plentiful harvests. Garatina, yes! Mm. This Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours where common knowledge is distorted and strange. Hell yeah! Damn straight. Palkia, its total control over the boundaries of space enable it to transport itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. Dimensions, man. Low key. Palkia is an ultra beast. <laughs> uh, is there anything else here? Hey, buddy. Cool. I shouldn't have talked to her. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I'd want to. I wanted to learn about more about Nebby. I mean, Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett, but I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. God damn! She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all, and then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his loft uh, to stay in, and she's told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like a real mother to me. Well, damn. Cool. Huh. What's up, pal? It's, uh, I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel next. Hey, Diglett's Tunnel, it's, uh, the fucking second like canto, right? Not too bad. You got anything for me? Any words of wisdom? We record several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions and books. All right, yeah, you told me that. Hmm. I guess that bookshelf was the only one, and we only got three Pokemon out of that, but still interesting nonetheless. All right, what do you got for me, man? 
How about that, Josh? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kinds of moves they can use. You finished all three of Akala's trials. And now comes the biggest match, the big match, against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and best trial of them all here on Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck, Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel, it's in Kone Kone City. But watch out for Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Br Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'll have to check out Diglett, uh, Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Yeah, you just said that to me. Ugh. That's okay. Diglett's Tunnel with a lucky bunch. Gotta press the button. <laughs> uh, yeah, so where the hell is that? I can see on the bottom map a little bit. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So very cool, that kind of unravels another little storyline. There's a lot of little storylines that we're seeing develop here. Not sure how much they're all going to kind of connect. Uh, you know, we have the storyline of Zygarde and Team Skull and Ultra Beasts and craziness. Yo. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky? Yo. Hey Josh, so you made it through all three Captain Trials, right? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. Great. Yo, what the hell, man? That was like a wormhole, I think. Like, that looked like a like a little distortion, like a little ripple that like represents some relation to a wormhole, at least. Damn! Yo! That is so cool, man. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, anyway, uh, if, it, if it holds true, apparently she... Olivia... Specializes in rock types, and that's perfect for our Aranic... Araquinid? Araquinid. I'll get it, guys. I will get it. I promise. I promise you. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So now we can head on down here, and that'll unlock that smaller area down here that I was wondering what the hell is going on. Why can't we do anything? Is that Olivia? Oh, yeah, that is. I remember seeing her there. Yeah. Hmm, oh, Josh, wasn't it? Yeah. This cave really is something, you know? It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So, how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Josh. Nice work. I've seen you've passed, even passed Mallow's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down, too. If you're as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Kony Kony City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. Very nice. That is going to be... Final trial here, and why are you chilling there? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to actually use... Oh, crap. We're going to be able to run away from these little fuckers. Traditional in Diglett Cave. You only have Diglets. You know? Yeah. Maybe a little bit. That's alright. Please tell me. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm just going to guess that that's its weakness here. It is not fast. It looks like it would be fast, but I'm guessing that it isn't, because we have had a very... Very hard time with that. Are you kidding me right now? Really? 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 This is annoying, guys. This is annoying. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run. I'm not dealing with this right now. Load of bullshit right here, I tell you. <laughs> Load of bullshit. Uh, that's so annoying. I think I have a few repels. I'm gonna use those. God damn. Not a happy camper about that. Not going to lie. Uh, let's just go for a repel before I forget. Uh, we have two. Guess that's okay. All right, let's just. I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into Trumbeak actually. I see a karate guy, so we're just gonna pluck through that, you know. And yeah, maybe we can find. We'll be surprised to find Dig here. Oh shit! I guess not. Uh. Da, da, da. Wait, what was that? Be all the trainers in this tunnel if you think you could take me on. Oh, okay. All right. A little challenge. All right. I like it. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Worker Frank. What do you got for me, man? Little Diglett. 
What else should I really expect out of this tunnel? You know what I'm saying? What else should I expect? Oh, crap. Wait, it's really not very effective? Crap. Oh, maybe it's typing is different in this game. I didn't even think about that. Maybe it is. Wow, that thing is weak as fuck. Tangling hair! My dude, what the hell? Yeah, why is Brick Break? What is Alolan Diglett's typing? I have no idea. To be honest, I have no idea. Because if it's just ground, I don't know why there was type... Those typings would be the way that they are. Hmm. Alright, well, hey, that's alright. We'll just, uh, keep on moving here. Ah, uh, man. Gotta make the most out of that whopping one repel that we have left after this one. Guess that's okay. And that's a dead end. Okay. At least we know that now. I can't, I, I can't do it, guys. I'm running back. This will be worth it. I'm running out of here. I'm peeling, I'm telling you, man. I'm peeling. I'm going right here. I'll heal up, because I'm, I'm right there anyway. But I'm getting repels. No doubt about it. I don't care. No doubt about it. So we're going to go ahead and heal up. Because we can. We can right here. Why not? And, you know, yeah, we're going to... Organizing with us, without a doubt, without a doubt. So yeah, we're gonna get some more items unlocked, and yeah, we have revives now, which is very nice. And look at that, very nice, super repels. That is a very welcome sight to see. And other items, how are we looking? I think we're looking pretty good. We'll just buy a few of these. I think we're gonna be okay right now. You know, we have a lot of everything else, so we'll be fine. But yeah. Yeah, boy. So yeah, we will go to the we'll go to the Tauros. We can. It'll be nice. You know, kind of speed things up a little bit. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all there is to it. Gotta get it going. Get it going. Right, I will save actually because I've been recording for a long time. I don't want I don't want shit to hit the fan. You know, something happens with like my game freezes or something. That would that would really suck. That would really 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 suck. So yeah, we're gonna gonna use all these nice. Nice. Super repels. Gonna be very nice to have, not gonna lie. Especially exploring this whole cave. I'm sure we'll go through repels a little faster, but that's okay. Alright. Firestone! Ooh. That is good to know. Wow, I'm gonna break out another post-it for the amount of items I've gotten in this recording session. Firestone. That is good to know. That is very good to know. Hmm. <laughs> Aether Foundation. Those are good guys, right? Whew. With Lilivy in charge, we're, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. What the hell is going on? We remember the Alola. <laughs> Alola. I've been. Sometimes when you play for such a long time. <laughs> We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support po uh, Pokemon conservation. Conservation. Oh my goodness. Help me. <laughs> it seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave gang, so riled up and bring them all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Oh, I know, man. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. That's why I have my repels, goddammit. Some of the, uh, the Diglett are still stuck on or near the surface, though, so be careful. Got you, fam. Got you. Uh, so that is nothing we can do about that. Little ledge. Uh, anything good here? Hyper Potion. Hey, I will take that, man. Free shit. All about free shit. Uh, we're gonna have to get off for of this little nook. Uh... Huh. Maybe a powerful Pokemon. Yeah, I don't think we have that right now. That's a shame. Dig a hole. 
Dig a hole. Dig, dig a tunnel. Dig, dig a tunnel. No, freeze. Anyone know that? Lion King one and a half? Yeah. It's a funny movie. Lion King one and a half. <sighs> Why does it exist? I don't know, but it's funny to me. Alright, so we got Trumby because it's gonna work out actually really nice, even though it is a rock type. Just throw out the nice brick break, you know what I'm saying, man? Brickety, 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 brick, break, go. Boom. Boom. Please don't have sturdy, please don't have sturdy. Uh, wow, didn't even kill it. Weak armor. Weak armor. Ooh, that is a... Wait, what? Well, all right. Okay, wow, look at that. It's an interesting animation for that move. Interesting animation. And we still have speed. That just shows how slow... Slow, slow, slow. Rog and Roller really is. What a shame. Alright. There we go. Hey, Araquinid. Mudbray. Mudbray, I will go ahead and switch into Araquinid, actually. I'll look at summary real quick. Yeah, it is dreadfully slow. But, I mean, hey, that's alright. That's its weakness. You know, hey, it is very, very bulky in uh, terms of special defense. You see that special defense? That is insanely bulky. I don't know why, it doesn't seem like something that would be. It seems like something that would be fast, but I'm not complaining really, you know, hey. I just had to learn that it was, and you know, now we're good, so <laughs> yeah. Double kick, uh, we'll be fine, right? Wow, look at that. Tanking that, tanking that, wow. That's impressive right there, Araquanid. Impressive Pokemon, guys, very fun to use so far, I mean, really. Definitely would not mind using this again sometime in the future. That is for sure. Worker Jeff. Jeff. Alright, so this kind of, uh, oh yeah, we could just go back down, down around here, right? Uh, more Zygarde. Wow, these things are a little bit everywhere. A little bit of them are everywhere, really. Alright, what's good, man? Work through the brute force. Bah! Brute Force. I use Brute Force when I battle sometimes, so that's okay. What you got, man? What you got? Machop, perfect. I think we're leading with Trumbeak, so that works out quite nice. So yeah, we will try and battle everyone here, and then hopefully battle that other guy at the beginning. And I just tap my microphone. Sorry about that. Sorry, y'all. Boom. Ba boom, boom. 25, very nice. Dizzy Punch, that could be good. Hold on. Oh, normal type move. Mm. You know, I'm going to keep Rock Tomb over that because here's the thing. First of all, Rock Tomb, you get coverage. And second of all, Rock Tomb always lowers speed. You know, Dizzy Punch sometimes makes it confused. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Not, not trade off that I want to do, really. That's something that I personally would see as worth it, right? So that'll bring us back to kind of the beginning-ish. And, you know, yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, Team Skull. What's good, homies? No way. Just when, uh... Like, I gotta give him my little voice. I don't do voice for this series, really, but this right here. Yo, yo, just just when things were starting to heat up, yo. Try got surrounded by Diggle and beat up, yo. Yo, since when can Diggle use beat up? I'm so mad that now I want to go and beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. Josh, yo. What's up, pal? <laughs> ah, I was wondering who you were playing around with uh, without me, and it's Team Skull. Or we don't battle with him. Yo, you want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Oh, shit. Are we double battling this shit right here? That would be cool. I wouldn't be against that. It looks indeed like it may be. Are we doing that? Silent it and Fomantis. <laughs> That's such a cool name. Fomantis. And it looks indeed like, yeah, we will be doing that. Pikachu. Pikachu, oof. Huh. All right, we're gonna, what are we gonna do? We're going to, yeah, take out that Fomantis for sure. Hmm. Fuck, no, I gotta, gotta get this right. <laughs> All right, we're good, we're good. My hat, my hat situation is good. I can say that. 
God damn it. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the pluck. Electro ball. What are you doing with the electro ball? Doing damage, I guess. That works for me. Deuces sound it. Deuces. Cool. I'm curious when we're gonna. And maybe it's right now. I'm curious when we're gonna see the team skull story really expand more than just every once in a while. You just do a quick battle with them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we got a uh, what Gladdy on that other guy, but I don't know. Yo, step up! Enough with the beating up, yo. Ooh. We may not be trying to take over the world, nothing, but we're still tired to start as that yeah, hard as bone. Wow. See on the flip side. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I, I I just don't want to stop playing and I keep on playing and my voice is like going and oh, help me. Man, Josh, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I just gotta give you something. Mm. I like Max Ether. That's, that's very useful. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Now I'm gonna go uh, have more some have some more fun with those Diggle. Wow, I got... I can't wait until I get to that Grand Trial. I gotta finish up with this shit. Terrible. Terrible, I'm sorry. This is like the longest I've ever done like a, just one long recording session for like a Let's Play. I've been recording for like over two hours. That's just how fun that this game has been for me, <laughs> honestly. All right, so we did beat, uh, oh. Ooh, hold on. We're gonna be facing a fucking Z-Power. So, you know, we gotta fight Z-Power with Z